Yeah, g'day. I'm Nick. We're here in uh, Austria, the, right next door to Germany, the home, home of the diesel. And uh, we're at Steinbauer. We've got Hubert here with us. And uh, Hubert, why, how, how long has Steinbauer been making boxes? Hubert Steinbauer, the, the owner, he started in 1997. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot in the last more than 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how long have you been here? 15 years. 15 years, yeah. 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 So, and why would we why would we use a Steinbauer and what, what does it do? The Steinbauer uh, basically connects into the, um, between the ECU and the injection system of the, of the car, but we just qualify injector signals. Yes. Never any pressure, mainly yes. no rail pressure. Yeah. It's quite dangerous. Yeah. I've seen lots of damages and it just increases rail pressure to get more power. Yeah. Um, it's all plug and play, it's just plug in between yep. and run and the power and an earth. Yeah. Yep. So from what I've learned in the last two weeks being here, we're basically just extending the time that the injector fires and changing when it fires. And just the main injection. We yep. don't, the box does not touch any pre and post injections yep. for cleaning DPFs and everything. Yep. Which is so, that, yep. so that's all working like factory? Yes. Um, the, the power module itself, it's not, uh, you can't see it if you plug in to the ECU, it's not visible, so it leaves no trace, no fault codes, no nothing Even if like you that. uninstall it afterwards, nothing's there at all. Yeah. Yep. And um, the other thing as well, that the, all the factory stuff is working normally, so all your fault codes, all your engine parameters and everything will, will work. Yes. Just, just like normal. Yeah. So. We, we do not touch any temperature sensors. Uh, yep. So, in an, in the case of any faults, the engine ACU will reduce power and then and, and everything, everything will be normal. normal. Yeah, it's it's yep. quite safe. Yes. Yep. So, and you've got all your standard protection system yes. in your engine, mm -hmm. so you're not actually going to do any damage by having this on. So, um, there's a couple of other ways you can get more power out of your diesel. Um, one of those is by rail pressure. It's a very cheap and pretty well crude and nasty module. Yeah, it um, is. Or nasty way to do it. What it's basically doing is it's just putting a higher pressure there, so when your injector opens, there's more fuel all the time. They pretty well do the same thing across the range, whether it's at idle, um, at, at no throttle or at medium throttle, don't they? Yeah, sure. All, yeah. all the time. And, and the other thing is, it's not just on the main injection, it's on the pre-injection, post-injection, post -injection. All, all the yeah. time. And yeah. to gain a good power, you need to increase the, the rail pressure by four or five hundred bars. Yep. And when you imagine this you know, modern systems have already up to two thousand bar, another four or five hundred bars is really a lot and, yep. and can damage a lot of things in the fuel injection system. Yep. So you're gonna you're gonna prematurely wear out injectors, you're gonna wear out your injector pump. Um, the other thing as well, if it is firing in that post injection, it can be firing that extra fuel on the downstroke of the cylinder, so it's going to put the fuel on the top sides of the piston, so it can actually do damage to your piston as well. Correct, yeah. So, um, the other way we could do it is you could do a flash tune as well. Yeah, um, true. This this modifies all the parameters in the ECU, there's nothing else installed. Yeah. The, the main thing, problem, what I think is that there are not many people out there who know really what they do. Yeah. And you as a customer, you have no idea what they really adjust in your ECU. I have seen um, so many damages in engines because some uh, flash tuners, they, they turn off fault codes. Yep. So you don't get any fault code anymore. Yep. And, um, and all yep. other stuff. And, and you have no idea what, what's going on. When yep. you compare to a Stein bar, it's connected to the injectors. So yep. basically we cannot modify anything else. Yep. Just injector signals, that's it. Yep. So there's been some DPF and some EGR deletes as well in, in those. Um, that might be a short-term benefit for... Uh, your engine life, but it's definitely not for you know for the global picture. We need these emission controls in place. They do work. Um, with the the um, change in that as well, the um, the deletion of fault codes. So you don't know when your rail pressure is too high. You don't know when the car is going outside its parameters. And this is what can cause engine damage. And that's what we don't want. We always want to do something that's safe, something that's going to be reliable. And worst case scenario, if there is a problem with the Steinbauer, we can actually unplug the box and the car goes back to normal. So it's safe as. Or if there is a problem with the engine itself, yep. it's easier for you to troubleshoot, unplug the module and check your, your engine in standard without anything. Yep. If you flash tune, you have to reflash the original software, yeah, test yeah, it again. Right. Is, it, yep. is this fault still there or is it 
Yeah. You never know. Yeah. It's yeah. just quite easy to handle. Yeah. And a lot of the time with that flash tune in your car, again, you can't access those fault codes. So you can't diagnose your car. We can't diagnose your car. Uh, the dealer can't diagnose your car. So they may have to put it back to standard, which is what Hubert's just said to us, to be able to do that. Then you've got to go back to your flasher, and he may charge you again to do that if he's still around, you know? You know so yeah. You just, you just, well, you don't know. You don't know what you're going to get there. So. Um, yeah, so it's been awesome being here. It's great to be at the home. We've seen the manufacturing. We've seen so much in the last couple of weeks. And, um, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I've learned a lot more. These guys are always doing new stuff. They're playing with Teslas. They're... You know, they're, they're right on the forefront of technology and it, it's you know, been really good to be here. So thanks for having Thank me. Thank you for being here. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.